Hi everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your tarot cards of the day for January 26, 2018. You've got four cards here, so let me jump right in. Um, the first card you have is Playfulness from the Doreen Virtue um, Romance Angels deck. It says Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to spirit of fun to shine. So a lot of you need to go back to laughing and joking and trying to be, you know, not not keep don't be too heavy with when you meet somebody when you go out with them try to keep it a little bit casual i don't mean sexually i mean like you don't have to be like so well, when when do you, when do you expect to get married when how many kids do you want like focus more on joking around and playing and you know in like live like being in the moment like being in the moment of that day, that night, that lunch, that breakfast, that dinner, that walk in the park, whatever it is you're doing, your Netflix. Um, I, I know now Netflix and chill is something bad. But I when I first heard the term Netflix and chill, I was like, that sounds like a lot of fun. But I guess it's, it's something bad. So don't do Netflix and chill. <laughs> um, so, but anyway, so back to this. Yeah. So um, some of you need to keep it light, lighthearted. You know, really show somebody how how nice you are, how fun you are, that you can take a joke, that you can, you know, just be pretty and happy or just be handsome and happy. You know, well, how many other people are you dating? You know, that's not what you say on the first date. If you have that inkling, of course, that you're dealing with someone who's getting around, um, I, of course, don't go there. Don't, don't even go on the date with that person. But if this is somebody that seems nice, you know, every, you know, you guys are mutually interested in each other. You go out, you know, you hang out, even phone conversations, try to keep the phone conversations positive. Um, so then your next card is the four of area. When you give, you also receive being resistant to change extremes in how you save or spend money. So some of you just blow money or you or you or you're very, very stingy with money. Um, you need to find an equal medium. You need to find some balance in that because, you know, the universe doesn't really the universe doesn't respond to that. So if, if you've got a poverty mindset, the universe will, will give you that. If you've got, you know, money, money flowing through your fingers you know, you can't hold on to any money, the universe will give you that too. So you got to kind of be balanced with everything that you do. Um, a lot of you need to just find the balance, really. And then with the four here, it's saying that in all areas, in order to create a, a stronger foundation for yourselves, you guys have to prioritize. Um, um, so I, I'm not picking up that that this, this card is talking about people who like, okay, well, if I want to buy something expensive, of course I've got to skimp in these other areas. That's like common sense stuff, so that's a good thing. Um, it's talking about being like, oh, you know, I'm going to eat filet mignon every single day, and then I don't have any money left. So now I've got to eat ramen. Like, that's what they mean. Like, there's got to be like a medium somewhere. You know, somebody's going from one extreme to the next. Also, I'm picking up hoarding. I'm picking up um, just just shopping for no reason. Just mindlessly putting things in the cart. Mindlessly putting things on the counter. Um, try to stop. Uh, and then I also see that for some of you that you have to... Um, <coughs> Excuse me, the, I still have this little bit of a, I think it's allergies. Um, some of you need to get out into fresh air. Some of you need to work on breathing. Some of you must uh, start meditating. Some of you really need to get into yoga. I also see waves of prosperity. This is the next card. New abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. So accept the financial opportunities that are coming your way. I believe it was yesterday that I saw that some of you would be getting new jobs, job opportunities. You have these opportunities. They're, they're washing all over you. I feel like for the next few weeks, many of you are going to have these opportunities coming up. Finances are looking very, very good. Also, love is looking very, very good. Then you have divine magic. From the Doreen Virtue um, uh, Romance Angels deck. Divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. I am picking that up for, for pretty much everybody. I feel like the new year kind of kicked something off. To where you um, 
Uh, I'm trying not to say um. I notice in a lot of videos I say um a lot. I'm trying to avoid saying um. <laughs> so, I'm going to reread the card. Divine magic, extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. So I, I have been picking up that since the since 2018 that it looks like there's a lot of zodiac signs and so many people, mountains and mountains of people. You guys have, it's like you all have a clean slate. I feel like this new year is bringing a clean slate for everyone to either do good, to do bad. If you were doing evil things, you can clean up your mess now. If you weren't doing evil things, even better. You've, got a, you've accumulated a lot of good karma. I feel like many of you, whatever you want to do now, try it. It'll work. If you're looking for love, this is a great time to get out there and attempt to find love. Yeah, maybe dating sites didn't work a year ago. Maybe they didn't work two years ago. They'll work now. Yeah, you trying to go get a new job or a promotion didn't work last year. Guess what? This year it'll work. Whatever you tried before and did not work, I feel like it's going to work now. All you have to do is try just a little. All right, guys, that was your tarot card of the day for January 26, 2018. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. I also have uh, Google Wallet. I have Cash App. I've got the Facebook GoFundMe. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 72 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do have your readings the same day. I have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within 20 minutes. I don't have PayPal. I don't do pre recorded readings. I don't do email readings. My readings are done over the phone or through Skype or FaceTime. After you've made your purchase, Please um, screenshot your receipt and uh, send it to me at jamiezebra23 at gmail.com. All right, guys. Ta-ta for now.